All right, so I just finished recording part 12. I'm gonna get right into part 13 because I I feel like I'm literally like almost done with this. It was going well, but it was exposed at the very last second. I'm sure there's another way. I'll keep helping you until you resume control of Leanbox. Let's do our best, okay? Right. I'm sure we will perform wonderfully. Thank you, Nepgear. Oh no. If I do get Leanbox back, then Nepgear will be forced to return home to Planetune. It uh -oh. might be better for things to stay as they are. For eternity. Hello? Um, Vert? Did you just mumble something slightly strange and disturbing? <laughs> no, yes. no, you must be hearing things. We've been working non-stop for a while, so you must be tired. I'm pretty sure she has like a huge thing for Nepgear now. I'm pretty sure I wasn't hearing things. <laughs> That's my cell phone. Strange. It's rare for Esha to text me. She does this usually call instead. Even I've noticed that. What does it say? This is Isha. Please stop Esha. Hmm. Huh. That's it. Oh, so Isha probably sent it from Esha's phone. That makes sense. Wait, who's Isha? Exactly. I believe I heard Esha whisper that name to herself fairly recently. But oh, why? Oh, I just received another. Esha has taken a million rand pigs to the Golden Summit. There's no time. You need to stop her. Oh yeah, I think I we're pretty much at into the rear end. I don't know. Because every time they Although mention the gold summit, Esha's we pretty much go there right she away. Must be someone close to her. Do you have any ideas? Have you seen anyone that might be her around? No, no idea. Esha was always alone whenever we met. Is Esha Esha but with the green eyes that we saw in the previous part? There's no use meditating on this now. We must hurry and locate Esha. But what's the Golden Summit? Have you ever been there before, Vert? It's the Golden Tower. No, that, that must be new. No such place existed with that name before. There is one new place that has appeared ever since Gold Third, Esha, has started ruling this nation. The Golden Tower. Oh! Would that be... Yes. If my hunch is correct, it must be one of those four Golden Towers that have appeared in game industry. We're going there. Yep. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to um, the place. Oh, actually, real Maybe quick. We head towards the game shop. Um, just for the sake of it, let's do it again. Where I just do this. Even though I feel like this isn't really gonna do anything, we're just gonna do it anyway, you know, because we can. Right, let's see what we get this time. Are those cross signs? I'm gonna put a cross sign in this game when it's like... <laughs> exactly! Wait, that's your online name? Greenheart or uh, Vert, but with like cross signs? Hello? Are you trying to imply that you're uh, a Christian lady? Hello? Oh. Ooh. Hmm. <laughs> okay, girl. Okay. Now let's actually go to where now, we need to go. Now let us depart. Okay, so they're prepping up for, you know, doing it. Ooh. Now look at that area. This time it's uh, green, gold, and it looks like... Now, um, autumn colors, part. you know? Oh, we should probably, um... What was I gonna say? Oh. Um, wait, 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 what? F skill, wait. Alright, now we're actually arriving. This is the Golden Summit. It's huge. This is my first time seeing it up close, but it truly is gilded. I wonder if it's completely made out of gold. More than likely. It's hard to tell. I've only seen real gold used in overpriced audio cables, so... 
<laughs> Let's hurry inside. I don't know what she's planning, but if it will put Leanbox in danger, then as a CPU, it's my duty to put an end to this. Alright. I guess we're entering in, right? Whoa! What is this place? I knew it wasn't a regular tower, but to think it would be like this on the inside. I know, it looks like literally an empty vacuum of space. Like, if you fall, you're probably just gone forever. <sighs> is that Isha? Esha? Wait a second, Vert. She's acting kind of... Or, well, she seems unlike herself. She has green eyes. <laughs> now that you mention she it, she does seem voice. off. Who are you? <laughs> are you Esha? No. Oh, she spoke. Um... Then who are you? Isha? <laughs> huh. Why won't she answer me? This could possibly be... Hmm? The one who was texting you? You've been waiting for us, correct? Yes. Oh, oh it is she Isha! Spoke again. Are you our ally? Yes. Then my next question. Esha is here, is she not? Yes. I knew it was so. Most likely, she is only capable of responding with yes or no. Oh, I get it. That's why she didn't respond to my question. Yes. <laughs> oh, she answered me! Yay! <laughs> Who exactly are you, anyway? You look quite similar to Esha, but... <laughs> of course, there would be no way you would be able to answer that. Which means... Oh, I know! Are you... Isha? Yes. Yes. Which is weird because they look exactly the same, but you know, different eye color. I knew it. But your appearance is the same except for the eye color. A text. That body holds both the souls of Esha and myself within it. Oh. So she only answers yes and no, but she can she knows English of only texting, one but of us can be in control at any given time, and that's usually Esha. However, in this tower, I can temporarily materialize as a spirit, so I wanted to come to meet you. That is her message. Um, why did you send it by text? She says, I'm sorry, I have difficulty speaking in front of people. I Aww. didn't expect that would be the reason this key person in this final dungeon-esque place is so taciturn. Isha. Were you possibly the sender of the letter that was in Vert's room? She says, Correct. While Esha was asleep, I came forward and sent the letter. I could have used her cell phone, but I was afraid she would find out. So that would seem to be her reason for using a letter. All that I can do is guide you to where Esha is. There isn't much time. The ritual will begin soon. You must hurry. <laughs> She disappeared! What was she? I'm not sure, but we had better move quickly and find where Esha is. Is Esha trying to do My, this to be one item. with, um... Just, just to be one Jump. with Isha? Jump. Is that what's going on? Like but then Isha knows that Jump. what she's doing is like wrong or something? Is that what's going on? Also, we're gonna need a level up. So, um, let's finish this quick. I I'm probably gonna be on a. Oh, I can't even reach him. I can't even reach him. Wow. Oh, there's three of them. Wonderful. Oh no, they have. Shall I do? No. Why do they have that? Oh no, 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 no. Do we have? Thing that you know, oh my, you gotta be kidding me! No, <laughs> this is bad. It's gonna be one of those days.
Seriously, she just got out of that and now she's back to being in paralysis. See, like, look at that! I was just stuck in paralysis the whole time and I died for it. Bro, oh my gosh. You know how frustrating that is? That is not okay. Like, that's one of the things I really do not like about this game is that you can just get stuck like that. Is apparently here. Freaking wonderful. You'll use Neptune? Wait, wait, what? Oh <gasps> no! 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 Are you telling me R4 somehow successfully took control of Big N- No. 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 uh No. You believe you can win against me? I am actually so pissed right now. Still had spear. You are straight up telling me that R4 actually took control of Big Nep, my probably my favorite lady. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. I I I I, I don't know how I'm feeling about this. You're assigned to intercept intruders. Mm. Oh. But still! Like, come on! The fact that. <sighs> How much longer until we find Esha? All this walking is getting tiring. I think I'm getting thirsty. Maybe we don't have too. to fight her, but, like. Still. I concur. During, if I doing R4's to walk bidding this is much, like. I would have no. A drink. Like, just, just no. Here, take this then. Oh, how very kind. Thank you. Uh, huh? <sighs> it's gosh. chill, refreshing, and so easy to drink. How delightful. I'm glad you liked it. What? What's wrong, Nepgear? Why are you opening and closing your mouth like a fish? Oh my gosh. N Neptune, why are you here? It's been a while, huh? Haven't seen you since Zero Dimension, and I haven't seen Miss Busty over here since that hotel bath. Huh? You? Do you know her too, Vert? Yes, we've met at the hotel's public bath, but I didn't realize she was the other Neptune that you had met. Surprised, aren't ya? Well, yes. I can hardly believe it. I couldn't see your face well with all that steam. But you look just like Neptune. But why are you here? Simple. 
It's because I'm a member of Affimax, and I'm on a mission to intercept the two of you. Ugh, why? <laughs> what? Why are you a part of Affimax? Exactly, like, why? Hmm, well, it's complicated. Or was it a history re... Was it history rewriting that and that... Now Neptune's part of it because of it? The rewriting? But since that's what's happening, let's just battle it out already. You've gotta be kidding me. No way. No. No. I can't no. If I could help it, I wouldn't fight you either, Nepgear. Even though it's a sad thing, that's just how this plot unfolds. Wow, even she just admits it. It's just how the plot unfolds, so even if I don't want to, I have to do it. But why? Why? Although it, it, it is kind of interesting how we have to fight against one of the o other characters that we played as, so I think that's kind of interesting, but still, <laughs> why? Why specifically yeah, Neptune, the adult one? Why does that do no damage? Why? I shall go for Oh my gosh. Oh no. You have to be weak to something, right? Oh. Ah, but that's just a normal attack. Let's nip things up. Oh my gosh, and meanwhile, she does so much damage, like, hello? This ain't fair, ma'am. Like... Is that again, question mark? See, like, 400 damage for a special move! Like, why? That's nothing! Alright, into the specimen book. What shall I do? This is not okay with me. We have. Nerd, we can handle high speed battle. I won't lose a contest of speed. Interesting how we. I'm still a little bit. Still very surprised how we have to fight her, though. That's my timing. Okay. I, I mean, I guess, in a, I guess even though the, the concept's really what cool. What should I do? But the fact that it has to be her is like, why? Like, just why? Why in general? And why is she? Oh my god, what? That's so much damage! <gasps> I've never even seen that special move! Why did that do so much damage? Bruh! Bruh! What? I will skewer you all at once! Hey! Your sweet you adult voice is hurting me, Neptune. I have to do this. Stop! Stop! <laughs> like in her adult voice. Stop! I'll be serious! Alright. I also knew I was gonna take turns because you. you know I, you Good can see timing. that. The, oh no, wait! You can't see that. Oh no, wait! You can partially see it. Oh, but still, why? Why? Here I go. This is gonna take a while. All right. Into the specimen What? Into the spe? Okay, no, 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 no. We're not risking it. It isn't my fault if you're charmed. Nice booty. Nice booty. Jeez Louise. Super up close. Like, lots of suspicious things about that. Alright, so Nept Gear will go next, so. What I will do right here is safe. Okay. I'll be but still, that doesn't excuse the fact that she's taking no damage. Heal. Thanks for the help. Yes, and let's go over here and, uh. You know. Safely transform. Their index finger, though, like, what? Like, what are they doing? Like, doing this or something? CPU Nepgear has arrived! 
Okay. All right. Into the specimen the scrap. Useless. 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 Yeah. I'm fine. There. There. Oh. There. Jeez. Heal. I can't believe I'm hearing her attacking, and it's actually not because she's like having a confusion or anything. It's just because she's doing it against me. Yeah. And I'm not it enjoying this. Turn. I'm not enjoying that. Still, again, unique concept, but why does it have to be her? Why does it have to be someone that I love too dearly? This is my nep style. Useless, useless, useless. I won't hold back. She used a gun on us. She pulled it out. The first thing she used it on was not an enemy. Multiple on us. I don't know how to say that. She straight up shot us. And it looked cool too. But it was on us. <laughs> now go to the afterlife. I think that was a bug. And was on Neptune. I shall Nep go too. forth. All I can do is get it. I guess Jeez. we have to do this. Oh. Light speed sword dance formula edge. I mean, frankly enough, at least she straight up admitted to us you. that she doesn't want to do this either, but the plot told her to. I mean, that's silly, but that doesn't excuse the fact that you're doing it. Are you capable of dodging this? It scratched me? My eyes are spinning everywhere. Ow! Useless. For you once, I use need you to say that I'll because you are aggressively attacking us. Are spinning everywhere. Useless, All I can useless, do is useless. Stop. Pierce them, still had fear. Ouch! <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> Alright, let's get over here. Alright, I'll go calmly. Exactly. Let's go. Bird and I, will cut through. I hate doing this, but we'll you know what? We have to. Because you're making us doing attack. this, Neptune. Because you have to be a part of it for whatever reason. Unless you wanted to have a second choice, but then they were just like, "No, you're doing this." Match our timing. The final strike. Oh my Thanks. God! What? Uh, it shouldn't have. Yeah, like, uh, scarcely strong. Even if she's a different person, she still fights as a Neptune should. You guys are plenty strong as well. Seriously, I said it already, but you're much stronger than last time, Nepgear. That makes sense, though. You've probably been grinding a lot down here, huh? Nice work. <laughs> okay, my, my problem is that that's exactly what I was doing. Speaking with such meta-mannerisms is just like our Neptune as well. Meta-mannerism, that's what it's called. Neptune, okay. please, stand aside. Don't have any time to be wasting in fighting you right now. Besides, I don't even want to fight with you. Yeah, sure thing. Uh, huh? Wow. My job was just to stall you guys. I'm not really trying to defeat you. I mean, that's true, but... Besides, she never told me how long I had to stall you for anyway. I probably accomplished my mission by now, I think. So that doesn't excuse the fact that we had to fight you and I felt so bad Neptune, for it. what's going on in that brain of yours? Well, see you again soon, Nepgear, Miss Busty. Gosh. Neptune, wait! She left. Why is she? I understand that it concerns you, but we must stop Esha before doing anything else. Yeah, I know, I know, but... Since you had more of a relationship with her, it's difficult for me to empathize in the same way. In any case, you will have to hold that thought until we locate Esha. 
I have a feeling the reason Neptune stood in our way is related to her somehow. So you think Esha is connected to Affimax? Possibly, if my reasoning is correct anyway. But to confirm this, we must move on ahead. Freaking R4. Literally a disgusting monster. Something I will never forgive her for. Yeah. Oh my gosh, there's more to go through. I'm starting to wonder if Vert should have been last or like, you know. Oh dear. I, I thought I hit them first. I will attack. Esha. You two. I'm surprised you found this place. What are you planning on doing by gathering all the ran pigs? It does not concern you. It does concern us. We've come here because Isha urged us to find you. I see. That's why there were messages on my cell phone I couldn't recall. I'll ask you again. What are you planning to accomplish by sacrificing a million ran pigs? I guess it's no use. I'll tell you. Now that we know the Demon King was just an illusion, I have run out of options. Before her soul disappears, I must create a vessel for my soul. What are you getting at? Then, listen well to the tale of a pitiful girl. Very well. The truth of our current strife will finally be explained. I will listen to the reason you've persisted for so long. A long time ago, I was creating a film. I made a mistake that almost took my life. Hmm? Hmm. <laughs> huh? I'm sorry. For a moment, I thought you said film. Did you say kiln? As in those industrial ovens? No, you heard correctly. A film. When you say film, you're referring to the moving pictures, yes? Not some kind of coding? Correct. <laughs> what do you mean what? you're making a film? I thought I'd finally hear the truth of our situation, and you begin by telling jokes. Return my excitement this instant. But please calm down, Vert. It may get more exciting from here on out, so let's listen until the end of the story. Oh, I thought that was After it. my failure and I began to die, Isha reached out a helping hand. We weren't particularly close. In fact, it could be said that we were rivals. But even still, she tried to save me. So was she like a completely different person and not looking like Esha but with green eyes? Unfortunately, my body was far too gone for her spells to have effect. Using a forbidden spell, she took my soul from my dying body and transferred it into hers. Oh, so this is Isha's body? Ever since then, this body has held the souls of both Isha and me. But human bodies aren't designed to house two souls at once. Oh, actually, that's kind of a unique concept. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I've never really thought about that. Like, imagine... Well, then again, well... Oh, no, wait, never mind. I was thinking... For a second, I was thinking, well, what about, you know, in a... You know, Dragon Ball Z, you know, when Piccolo is fused with, like, three different souls, I believe, including his. And then, you know, we have fusions and all the types of stuff, but, um... No, Piccolo is a, you know, a, you know, a Namekian, not a, probably a normal human being like her, who has been blessed by the Gold Third to, um, have supernatural powers to challenge HDD forms of CPUs, but that's interesting. Like, not a fusion, but just having two souls in a human body. Naturally, her body couldn't withstand the burden, and although it's been gradual, it's beginning to break. That's why you wish to obtain a body of your own. Exactly. I can't let Isha die. Oh! You're not thinking of creating a new body with those ran pigs, are you? That's exactly what I'm thinking. I thought the Demon King's body would satisfy the Law of Equivalent Exchange. But that's not possible now. The ran pigs will have to do. I finally understand the reason you were so persistent about the Demon King. And, as I suspected, the soldiers weren't recruited for fighting outside invaders. You just needed them to capture him. Correct. 
And the invaders were created yourself in order to train the soldiers, yes? You caught on to that plan too, did you? Of course. Even though the parts were from other nations, they all had a stamp that clearly showed they were from Leanbox. As expected of a CPU, I suppose. But that doesn't matter now. Gooman! Lady! <laughs> you called, Escha? What's our job this time? Are the preparations complete? If you're talking about the ran pigs, yes. All one million are in their cages. One million? All right. I'll head to the ritual area immediately. Imagine Please sending out one million soldiers and all of them die, and now you're using those one million souls so, for a vessel. Okay. We'll do our best for Isha. It's in your hands now. On one hand, I don't know how I feel about this. Because it's like, if they succeed, they're going to kill those pigs, but both Isha and Esha will be saved. But on the other hand... Where are you going? If Isha keeps telling them to stop Esha, then there's something Whoa, going then. on. Step back. You two won't be getting any farther than this. Then we'll simply pass through by force. Let's go, Nepgear. Okay. Oh, we are gonna fight them. I thought we were gonna fight them along the boss, but I guess it's fine. Even if my opponents are CPUs, my pectorals can handle this. <laughs> I love this guy. I'm not very fond of these hot-blooded types. It is my turn. Okay, so number one, how strong are they? I mean, they, from their health bar, they don't seem like bosses. Still had spear. But do they have a lot of defense? No. Ooh, the answer is yes. Oh, I'm not fine with that. <laughs> oh, they do so much damage! Like, come on. Okay, no, 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 no. I don't care. If we have to do this HDD form as many times as I have to, this is no, 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 no. I don't want to go through a whole like having two enemies literally do like you know like too much you know damage and then like not even deal that much damage and not even take that much damage themselves. Like no, 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 no. I won't go easy. And that miss too. On top of that, we might get missed attacks here and there. What shall I do? Uh, HDD form. That's what. It's my fault if you're charmed. Transformation complete. Now. Gosh, prepare. that is. I'm never gonna unsee that. I'll guarantee you that. MPBL. Target locked. Oh. Do you mean to tell me even my highly trained pectorals can't take these attacks? <laughs> I don't, why is that funny? <laughs> even my highly pectoral <laughs> muscles? I've been doing those 1,369 push-ups and it's not helping? <laughs> he probably really did do that much. And it's like, wow, all the push-ups I've been doing are not Be helping. Entranced. We're almost done, though. So... <gasps> no, wait, they're both alive! Somehow... Or no, he's down, but she's alive for some reason. So... I guess it's gonna be like one of those enemies where they're like, you know... Character enemies, I guess, is what we'll call them? They're character enemies, it seems like. Oh my gosh. Man, I had to see two anuses at the same time. You've got a great punch. My pectorals are still jiggling. <laughs> I'm done as well. You're really strong, Bert. You two are surely aware of what Asha is attempting to do, yes? Of course. Then why do you help her? That's because Isha is just as precious to us as she is to Esha. Isha was originally a friend of ours from a long time ago. At first, we were shocked when we discovered her soul was in Esha's body. 
She was a kind girl, despite her poor social skills, but we never had even heard of someone using a forbidden spell to displace a soul. But it's what Isha truly wanted. So we decided that we'd all live together along with Esha. However, after some time had passed, Esha revealed that a time was coming when her body could no longer hold both of their souls. Since then, we've searched so desperately for a way to save Isha. I actually don't know how I feel about this, because on one hand, I'm, I feel like I'm siding with them, but on the other hand, it's like, then why are we getting text messages from and Isha, so like, hey, at this don't, you know, That's stop right. Esha, you know? We may not have known her long, but Esha is a part of our family. She was saved purely by the kindness of Isha's heart. That's enough of a reason for us to help, even if we have to do something inhumane. Still, though, that's... That's not just inhumane. That's like... That's not just... That's just not thinkable. That's just insanity. Well, I don't think you two were very human to begin with. D don't be so insensitive, Verd. They have such a good, moving story to tell. I understand why you would support her, but there's something that simply doesn't make sense. What is it? How did Esha come to discover that their body would not last? It is her body, after all. Isn't it natural she would know about her own body the best? No. Because if we knew our bodies, I would realize that I've been growing a beard at a certain age, but I... Do not. In fact, I have little strands of what hair down Isha here. What have to say about it? It was originally her body, was it not? Isha said it wasn't true, but Esha insisted that she was just trying to endure the pain. I see. I have one last question. Who proposed this method of transferring Esha's soul into another vessel, an actual body? The way to create a new body, using the Demon King, or now using the Ran Pigs as substitutes, were all Esha's ideas. But this could hypothetically not work, though. But, now that I think of it, it's kind of odd how these ideas seem to have come to her. Exactly. Odd? How so? She often falls asleep while sitting in a chair. Whenever she came up with those ideas Goo Man mentioned, it was always right after she woke. Nightmares? Esha's a clever kid. She's probably always thinking of crazy ideas, even in her dreams. Still, though, that's just... that's kind of weird. Well, it was different with the Ran Pigs, though. Someone named R4 suggested that idea. R4? That name. It's the same name as the deity of Sin who once terrorized game industry. It's also the same name as the opponent Nepgear battled in Zero Dimension. That's right. So naturally, we were shocked at the coincidence. But don't worry. She may have bad taste in makeup, but she's definitely a human. No! 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 Suicide mission to destroy all the CPUs? Uh, no. Oh, but that girl Neptune who came along with R4 was very sweet inside and out. I didn't expect to hear her name in a place like this. Her characteristics match up with the R4 I fought in Zero Dimension too. But I thought we had defeated her. I see now. I'm starting to see some connections here. This is merely speculation, but it might be possible that R4 has deceived Esha. No, that is really not a theory, true? that's a fact. My instincts tell me it's highly probable. Then would that mean this whole issue about her body falling apart isn't true? More than likely. If Isha didn't agree with Esha's story about the failing body, then it's likely. Deception is a game R4 is all too familiar with. Oh, she's been doing that the entire game and the entire time in the Zero Dimension. No way. So we've been tricked. Where is R4 currently? She was with us moments ago, but she suddenly disappeared. Then, in order to find out what is actually going on here, we'll need to speak with both Esha and Isha one more time. Could you two guide us to where they are? Yes, we'll lead the way. Let's go and find the truth together. Okay. So, 
I was thinking, at first I was kind of like, oh, but like, you know, since this is kind of tragic, I'm kind of siding with them, but until they mentioned the idea that, oh, this was R4's idea, and it's like, oh, no, 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 nope, no way. That's uh, definitely not gonna work. It's uh, false, 100%, and uh, you are being, you know, uh, you're being fooled. But uh, where do we go, actually, <laughs> exactly? Also, I discovered the little N thing at the, you know, compass. Apparently, that actually means north, and does not imply the direction of where we need to go. It's just where we're looking is south. Oh, wow, we just, we made it to our destination. How funny. I was thinking this was gonna take a lot more longer, but it was literally right there. Hi, what a wonderful item. All right, here we go. Assuming this is the come. boss battle. Let us begin. Astra, please stop this. Don't get in the way. This is for your sake, too. No, I never wanted it to be like this. Oh. This is our only option, Isha. They're both taking this each other some consciousness to and talking to each other. Can't you see you've been deceived? Won't you please come to your senses? That kind of talk is not necessary now. I'm returning your body to you, and that's that. Asha, why? Why has it come to this? Esha, wait! Please, Esha, think this through one more time. Esha, dearest, please stop this plan. You've defeated both Goo Man and Lady, I see. No, worse. You've captured them. It's no matter. It's too late. I'm starting the ritual regardless. Failed. No, it can't fail. Once more. Wait, so she did it, but it just didn't work? Why? Why won't it work? So even if we let them have gone away, it just would not have worked. It appears to truly have failed. It seems like it. And from what I can see, she's failing to start the spell, but... Could it be? Goo Man, lady, count the ran pigs quickly. Uh, but we're not your allies right now. Uh, <laughs> uh but we're not oh, your well, allies right now. Oh, it's all right. Let's count them up real quick. Yes, it's fine this way. One, two, three, four, five. I think all the tension just vanished. Indeed. 999,994 999,995 Did he- 999,996 Did he really just got to that number in seconds? Or did we just sat there for like a good like two hours? What? Maybe even longer. You already counted that much? Oh no wait, that was really just a few Human seconds. dynamic vision and calculation skills are supreme. They're completely unparalleled. So you tell me, not only does he have pectoral muscles the size of Jupiter, but he also can calculate as fast as just a matter of seconds? 999,997 999,998 999,999 Huh? They're missing one? It? There's one missing! Oh... What? Did you say... How can this be? When we came here, there were definitely one million of them. Either our four or Neptune took one of- <gasps> This appears to be our only opportunity to put an end to this and stop Esha. I feel like it was Neptune. Because remember, she taught the whole trick about the whole like, you know. Stop me. You whom I've already defeated. I'm- I'm wondering if- I may uh... have lost once, but now that Nepgear is with me, Losing is an impossibility. Plus, we already defeated the other Shaws, so... Yep, there's the yellow eyes. Very well. I will be your opponent, and you will feel the burn of my golden power once more.
You will be the one to face defeat. You will feel the might of Leanbox's CPU in every blow. All right, here we go. Boss battle. Are you truly worthy to be my oh my god. Whoa, can we just take a look at her for a sec? I mean, I think I've already seen it before, but like, I forgot. She looking like a mighty fine queen. Armored queen, my gosh. Oh my gosh, and she's got a lot of health. Why? Ouch. I mean, we'll take half, but that's still... Look at that like one. Wait, like, that's you. seven health bars! What the actual heck? Can we just talk about how much damage? Yeah. Well, not the damage, but how long that lasted. Come at me. I choose you. Like, hello? Bird and I will cut through. We'll show you our well-coordinated high-speed attack. And she's not taking that much damage either. This is gonna take a long time. So I don't know if I'm gonna skip this or if um. What, what was I gonna say? Um. I don't know the air, the air trigger thing, whatever that is, seems to be doing some good damage. I mean, we'll probably take a health bar and like maybe an average of 30 seconds. That still doesn't excuse the fact that's a long time for seven health Prepare. bars. I'll slice you. And she's doing that much damage on Get top of that, hitting me way too many times. What shall I do? Like, hello, ma'am. Stop. Pierce them. Still have fear. What? I shouldn't push myself too much. I'll heal you. Good thing that was like, what, like, Please, that heals like, more than half her health. Prepare yourself. Too slow. A A P, and then you. she gets to go again on top of that. It is my turn. Or at least she will go next. Like, come on. <laughs> now go to the afterlife. <laughs> I'll go calmly. Prepare yourself. Oh great, I can't wait to see how uh, you're gonna do this much damage to me. Wonderful. There. Oh boy, oh boy, and you get another turn. That's cute. That's so cool. Look at look at all my turn. So frustrating. Bird and I will cut through! We'll show you our well-coordinated high-speed attack. Our timing. Just the final switch. strike. Not bad, CPU. But even at the cost of my life, I cannot lose Isha. Oh my gosh! Come on, bro. Like, just give up on that idea already. Kind of, you know, been redundant. I feel like air damages are just, you know, those type of attacks are doing so much damage. We will win this. I can show you that because number because we have Nep gear. And what does Nepgear have that every single character doesn't have, at least what I'm aware of? She can heal herself. That's one of her specials. And because of that, I and it's unlike, you know, the items where I have to be a little bit limited with it because of, um... Because of, you know, the fact that... Oh my gosh, that really missed. Why it misses is beyond me. But you know, Nepgear can heal herself as many heal herself and her allies as many times as she wants. Meanwhile, every character can only use an item four times. And you know, in that Noir fight, Maria, we kinda were really reliant on the uh, items. <laughs> that was uh not fun. I'm starting to think that, yeah, the air striking is, uh, or, think I'd be cool uh, yeah, the air striking out. element strikes are doing more damage than physical attacking. I no longer have doubts. Actually, let's heal. 
I'll heal you. Um, you know her. I thank you. And let's. It's the blast. Okay. This is Isha's body. I can't push it. There. You're full of holes. Oh wow, the one time what where she misses. Uh, try using. Uh, this you know blast type of a attack because that seems to be doing a lot of damage for whatever reason. To think I'd be cornered this far. Did she really just walk like an entire like 270? Just to attack the person that she could have just attacked on spot. Like, hello? Um, yeah, what, what if we try Blast, you know, Edge? You know? Yeah, that seems to... Or maybe it's just regular attacks. I don't know. Let's just try, uh, you know, Air Slicer. Oh, we did it! Okay, maybe that didn't take as long as I thought, but... We did it, right? This isn't beautiful at all. <laughs> this isn't beautiful at all. Power overflowing. Yes, I can definitely tell from the nice move. So, I am to fall with my greatest desire unfulfilled. There may be another method available. You won't have to sacrifice anyone. Would you care to keep looking? We can find it together. I've already searched exhaustively for such a method. This was the only way. But even if this wish will not be granted, then all that's left to do is... What are you plotting now? I'm going to extinguish my soul from this body. It should be possible if I borrow the power of the Golden Summit. No, you mustn't do that! Wow, she's just gonna... Your life had already once been destined to die. It's nothing you need to worry over. Wow, she is so cold-hearted, she's even willing to just let her life go just like that. I've caused you a lot of trouble. But our time together was fun. Thank you, Isha. Farewell. <clears throat> you stubborn idiot! Huh? Why are you so committed to sacrifice? <sighs> I've already said. I've told you it's because this is the only way to save Isha. Does that mean it's correct and proper to do? I have no idea what relationship you two have. What if it harms both of you in the process? Also, how could you dare waste the life that Isha so graciously saved? You can find a way to live together. It's not possible. Isha, is it even true that your body will not last any longer? That you will die if you continue hosting two souls? Yeah. Tell us, Isha. Is it true? Isha, dear, speak up. Um, please, you two. I appreciate your enthusiasm. But give me room to breathe. <laughs> no. Oh, she said no. It's been so long since I've heard her say that. That no is no lie. Um, as I've stated, you're both quite overbearing, so please refrain from... No! Isha's just pushing herself for my sake. N no I'm... I'm not. I'm not pushing myself, Esha. You're just convincing yourself of that. Isha is actually talking straight to Vert! To think she'd be able to talk to anyone else besides us. It's wonderful! What do you mean I'm just convincing myself? I felt something so abnormal and wrong and... What's abnormal? What? I feel nothing wrong with my body. What about you, Asha? What do you feel? I'm... Paranoia? Huh? Why... Why had I... Thought that way? It was my own will to save you. You are not a burden to me. You don't ever need to concern yourself with thoughts like that. So, I guess that already confirms to me why people confuse, because they can, you and it does nothing. hate me for this? If I hated you, I wouldn't have saved you. I saved you because your life was very dear to me, and that's the truth. Do you hate me, Esha? How could I possibly hate you? Isha. Oh, she's crying. Isha, you saved me. I love you. Oh, how could I ever feel badly towards you? You saved me from certain death. 
And you even sympathize and care for me now. I'm so glad you didn't hate me after all. I'm sorry, Isha. Lovely. Everything's been resolved, it seems. So, the whole time, they didn't really have to do yes. anything. Thank you for your hard work, Vert. And thank you for helping me, Nepgear. No, it's not done yet. I have a request. What is it, Esha? I want you to destroy this tower. Because this tower exists... I... Yeah, because then, you I've know... I've had questions about this tower since I first laid eyes upon it. What is this for, exactly? This to tower, give her golden, golden power summit, and make her OP? It's a symbol of Gold Third. And more importantly, it is the very source of our power. Can you see that crystal? This tower gathers the people's faith, and that crystal takes CPU share energy and converts it for Gold Third to be able to access it. I could have sworn I've been told that many times and somehow forgot. So this is the secret to your power. Wouldn't you lose these powers if we destroyed it? Yeah, I when you upon wouldn't this lose power her. by chance. I have no stock in it. It's of no value to me. I understand. Neptune, you little imbecile! What's the meaning of this missing Ranpig? <gasps> I knew it! Man, that is just so strange! I thought I counted up one million! <laughs> Must have messed up somewhere! <laughs> Don't give me tee hee! <laughs> but the ritual doesn't really matter, right? You got what you're looking for. Well, Yes, that's true, I suppose. Ooh, looks just like a regular console cable. But is it really what that person's looking for? You didn't get tricked with a fake, did you? It's authentic. It's worn in all the right places. Notice its texture and flexibility. This is no fake. It's exactly what our master searches for. All we have to wait for is that moody ninja to steal the rest from the other nations. What? Also, I can't believe that I've this already been taking arcade, up a whole it? hour and 20 minutes of recording. I thought we a were almost rest. done, but no. I was correct to say this for another part. Otherwise, I've been recording After for three hours. After we destroyed the tower center, we took the 999,999 Rand Pigs and left the Golden Summit behind us. There are still many unsolved mysteries, such as why the CPUs have been forgotten, or how to free the Rand Pigs from the curse. But we were able to solve the troubles caused by a girl named Esha, who desired to save a girl named Isha, without a single casualty. Leanbox is still in an unending battle with outside invaders, but with our new friend Esha and my younger sister Nephew, <sighs> She's still her first I have a feeling sister. this nation can be great again. Make Wait a second. Lean box Did you call me again. your younger sister, Vert? Oh, you heard that? Uh, um, everybody did. <laughs> yeah, hmm. everyone that's, you know. So they have. In any case, my story has come to a close. Okay, we're finally done with that. Now we just have Neptune, which, um, actually, now that I think about it, I'm gonna real quick close this window and see if I can get back to the player room to do the VR sessions. Because the more that I think about it, I think I could just do them without having to, you know, bust my way down town through spoiling a little bit of the first part of another route. Also, at least we'll get to play as a Kampa and Iffy in the next part, so that should be great. I'm gonna have some more gum again too, because you know, I can. Oh, it just kicks us right back to here. I guess we'll just have to see the very first section of Neptune. Woo! I'm finally here. Seriously, though, this tower is super gilded. And now that I'm getting a good look at it from down here, this thing is gigantic. I know. If it's this huge, I bet the view from up top is amazing. 
If I just shimmy up this thing, I'm sure I'll know where I am. I'm so smart. Okay. All right. Open sesame. <laughs> hey, wait just a sec. It won't open, no matter how hard I push or pull. Ooh, I get it. The joke's that it was a sliding door this whole time, right? Guess not. If I transformed, I could fly all the way up. But I can't seem to do that. It might be because of the damage from the brawl with a gold third. I'm not giving up just because I can't transform. If I can't climb from the inside, then I just gotta scale the outside. Tower climbing, here I go! She really... She's ridiculous, like, wow. So, this is oh. the Golden Summit. It's As a tower enthusiast, I'd love to go in, but work comes first. It seems worth trying to climb it, though. Maybe I'll come back if I get some vacation time. You're gonna get face hmm? planted. What is that? Someone's voice? But from where? I'm Above you. Wait, from above? I said move! Move, Iffy. You're gonna get face planted landing on or something. Why is that kid falling from the sky? Kid? I could say the same thing about you, Squirt. Who are you, anyway? Oh my the gosh. The name's IF. I'm a gust of wind blowing through. Wait, it's Iffy! Well, they said all that while she was falling. with you like this, Iffy. It reminds me of the first time we met. If I remember, I accidentally slipped off the top floor of the true Neptral Tower and landed right in front of you. Um, who the heck are you? And how do you know my nickname? Oh, come on. Don't you think that's pretty cold, even coming from you, Iffy? Uh-oh. I didn't mean to disappear from the arena so suddenly, so uh -oh. I don't think it's right of you to get angry over it. Uh-oh. I mean, I mean, I don't know if it's just the Shaws and they're just pretending like... I don't know if she's pretending like she forgot. What in the world are you saying? Did you hit your head but, you when know, you fell? Do you have history a history rewriting? Right now? She might be, you because know... Because if you do, I'm gonna need to call an ambulance to take you to a hospital. Not cool, Iffy. Even I could get angry if you keep poking fun at me like that. I don't know about you, but Iffy's face doesn't look like that. <sighs> this girl's no good. Maybe it's because she hit her head so hard, but everything she's saying is complete garbage. Wow. Huh? Just a minute. You're not angry, and you're not pulling my leg? I'm not angry, and I'm not joking at all. Jeez, you're a rude person. <laughs> uh, that sounded like a serious reaction. Uh-huh. Sounds like? <laughs> it is a serious reaction, weirdo. But that's a relief. You can actually hold a normal conversation. For some reason, I don't see any injuries on you either. So, I'll be going. I'm in the middle of a job right now. Oh, I know. Since you're here, I'd like to ask you for help with my investigation. Have you seen anyone suspicious around here? A suspicious person? Yeah, like a really suspicious old lady. R4. Nope, I haven't seen anything. Crap, that probably means it was a hoax. Something wrong with this lady? If you're after her, Iffy, then she must have done something bad. I can't give you all the details, but she's the perpetrator of several thefts. I came here after looking into a few eyewitness testimonies, but I guess they were cold leads. I better head back to the Basilicom and investigate some more before I make a move. The Basilicom? That means you're going to Planetune, right? Yeah, but, well, it'd be a problem to leave a kid in a place like this. Why don't you come with me? Yeah, I'll tag along. Wow, Panatu looks so much here. more different than like. Well, then again, all of the other last or the, all the other um, stations look a lot more different than a you know. By the way, there's no way you're not injured after that fall, so you need to get over to the hospital ASAP. Got it? You heading to the Basilicum, Iffy? 
that's what I was thinking. But there's a change of plans. I'm gonna gather some more info here before heading out. Oh, cool. So do you think I could? Nope. Don't need your help. Aww. This is my job. I can't let a kid like you just shadow me into some dangerous situations. I'm sure you'd just get in the way anyhow. <laughs> You're so stingy. Yeah, yeah, sure thing. Just get yourself to the hospital, all right? Okay, fine. <laughs> now then, putting aside the fact that if he doesn't know who I am, I made it to Planetune, so I should figure out what the heck's going on around here. Oh my gosh, we're into another conversation, except this time, you know, n no dialogue or no English. Oh, yeah, because, uh, you know, apparently Noir is uh, supposedly a wanted criminal for whatever reason. So everyone's kind of got their own weird kind of um, rewritten history. Neptune's kind of just forgotten. Blonde's kind of also... Blonde's kind of also forgotten, but she's kind of just targeted by this man. Uh, what else? Vert is, you know, now a, was a soldier to the Gold Third leader, and Noir straight up was just a wanted criminal, for whatever reason. Okay. After we check out... Okay, so she's level 35, so that's lower than the others, so that's probably not good. <laughs> Alright, so let's check out... Ooh... Right, we're gonna do a lot. Hmm. Okay, then. This is gonna be a long one. It's probably gonna be like two hours at most, you know. It's probably gonna be two hours at most, you know. But, you know. Hello Over. again. I am glad you are well. Whoa. By the way, I have a random question for you. Do you happen to watch anime at all? Uh, well, the reason Ish? for my question is... I remembered there was this anime, and it was based on a game I replayed not long ago. Because it was such an opportune moment, I decided to go ahead and watch it. The anime completely enraptured me, and I forgot all about my work. That is just Didn't the Didn't this whole life series start out as a video game and then I become suppose. an anime? And same with Pokemon? I know the ending from the game, and it is because I already know what happens that I cannot watch it without tears filling my eyes. Oh, oh my. I did not come here today to discuss this with you. Whoa. Today, I thought we could speak about our hobbies. It is a common way to learn about one another, is it not? <laughs> My most beloved hobby is, of course, gaming. Not far behind, <laughs> however, <laughs> is my burning passion for tea. I mean, I love gaming Delicious as well, but whoa, man. I think you know me a little too hard to be like... ...and completing work. A great many of my skills have earned their names from some of my favorite blends of tea. Were you already aware of this? I find it so enjoyable to visit a tea shop and try all of the blends they have available. The fragrances are always so lovely and charming. Do you guys ever get to see my eyes? I usually only drink the brands that I am fond of, but I also like to shake things up and try new brands here and there. Oh, yes. Not long ago, a dear friend of mine taught me a special method of brewing jasmine tea. Today would have been the perfect day to attempt it. However, she came I am over. quite tired from playing for God it <laughs> from working late last night. For God is the video game. Perhaps Darjeeling would be more appropriate considering its ability to help with fatigue. But I have just learned that new technique. Dear me, I <laughs> cannot she, decide. Totally that Should I funny. just brew jasmine after all? Wait, what? 
I have just learned that new technique. Dear me, I cannot decide. Should I just brew jasmine after all? When you learn something and you want to brew it, I think you should give it a go. Of course I should. It is decided. I literally she have like 131.2 gigabytes remaining. Like it's not funny. Feedback. According to my friend, Whoa, it also has the ability to much, raise man. someone's chances of finding love. This is probably the closest Although that she's ever leaned, I'm not I've ever been close to one of them. I have an idea. This is perfect. I will think of you while I drink it. Oh, whoa. <laughs> did your heart skip a beat? Do not fear. It, it skipped a beat twice, because not only did you say that, but you also <laughs> leaned oh, over. Look how close you are. <laughs> I'm definitely going to re-experience this in VR. I was hoping that we could speak more. All right, I will take my leave for the day. Dang, that was probably the closest I've ever seen someone sit. I mean, Blonde was close, but the fact that um, Bert was sitting next to me, intentionally looking at me, and literally was talking about gaming. Now you see, boys and girls, we be on that gaming grind. <laughs> hey, I also going to spit the scum out real fast. Hello, player. I have returned. <laughs> yes, I, I, I can see. Oh, what's this? Oh, what is that? Whoa. Oh, now I can see why that's a princess My dress. My goodness, the way it like for stews, does that. They all look delicious. Huh? What is this? This advertisement is quite out of place for a gourmet food magazine. It is far too cheesy. Ifrit whispers to me, boil the concoction further. Combine rice and the remaining broth to find the answer. <laughs> <laughs> One cannot help but laugh at this. Well, that's how you make great food. <laughs> what else is here? If you wish to make a meal delish, then you must use this golden dish. <laughs> wow, they even put Wait, rhymes in a recipe? I've seen this shape before. Oh, dear. I was trying so hard to forget. I just remembered something quite unpleasant. Okay. Oh, wow, ma'am. Sit really close to me again. Okay, okay. <sighs> it happened just a little while ago. Oh, well, what happened, ma'am? I had heard rumors of a powerful monster in an old factory at the outskirts of town. As a goddess, I could not leave it be. I left to investigate the area at once. When I went further inside the factory, the monster showed itself. Well, it was a strange robot. It resembled a golden pot with arms and legs. Game industry has seen stranger monsters before, so I was not too surprised. Wait, was that the was those the However, robots that we were fighting like twice? One from Last Station and one from strong. Leanbox? That was when five adventurers saved me with a skill that materialized shadows. Oh wait, never mind. This is With probably their like a help, different... I was able to defeat that monster. I feel like these Yet, are like different timelines. It was so disgraceful that I was not able to handle it alone. I really could not believe oh, she that. Has, she My even has an image to protect immense. like, oh, the fact I couldn't do this alone just sucks. Hmm. Wait a moment. Now that I recall, I believe the yellow person addressed me as Hilly. Was Hilly, that some sort of <laughs> slang? Wait, what? Oh, I see. That's what it meant. What? You know, talking about this really helped me get it off my chest. What? What is that? Wait, what? 
I must get going now. She is tall. Like, Until can we just... Next time. Whoa. I mean, may, I mean, I don't know if it's just me, but she looks kind of tall. Or maybe everyone is just... I don't know. Alright. Glutton. Which, isn't that like one of the seven deadly sins about eating? If I'm correct. Wait, what's that? Oh, is that a computer hardware? What is that? Good afternoon. Oh, Good afternoon, ma'am. Were you working on your computer? Oh, yes, I am. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. yes. Ma'am. Mm, these specs are great. I actually have extensive knowledge of computers, you know. For you to do this kind of maintenance on your PC, I suppose you are quite knowledgeable with them as well. Wait, when we say knowledgeable, are we talking about like, I was fixing that thing? Because I am actually not going to lie, I have never seen the insides of a computer software or hardware like that, so... I don't like saying no, but not really, Oh, ma'am. is that really true? Yeah, I, to I totally looked it up it on the internet. It seems so well kept, so I just assumed. However, it is still an admirable sight. It is immaculate. Dust is the oh. enemy of delicate equipment. Oh, that is true. Oh, that is true. Dust is everyone's enemy. Oh, this reminds me of something. When I was taking care of Ruby... Oh, my apologies. Ruby is the name I have given my computer. Oh, that's a cute name, Ruby. Anyway, like, you know, Ruby from Ruby. As I was completing my routine <laughs> maintenance, my Oracle Chica brought me some apple pie, and then she... Wait, do you know about Chica? Well, no. she is the Oracle of Leanbox, and one oh, of I my closest Oh, I just assumed that was the name supporters. of your dog. Cough, cough, Markiplier, cough, cough. She is cough, truly cough. an adorable girl. She always fondly calls me dear sister, but... Pretty sure that adores her way well, too much as she likes to call Neb Gear her sister for a little too many seeker, times. Going as far as feigning illness at times. I cannot help but spoil her though. Perhaps it is not my place to say anything like this about her. Oh. My how I have strayed from my story. So mm, yes, Chica had accidentally tripped on some of Ruby's cables. Thankfully, Chica was not hurt at all, but she had dropped her apple pie all over me and the circuit board I was holding. We both panicked for a moment, but she seemed much more worried than I was. <laughs> yeah, because if it didn't work, she was going to get slapped. Once we cleaned if it was up me, and turned her on, I probably wouldn't she hesitate. normally like nothing happened. It was as if she wanted apple pie so much that she tripped Chica. <laughs> well, the f Ever since then, I imagine Ruby is somewhat of a glutton. Oh, that's why it's named that. That's weird, though. Apologies, I have a notification. Oh, a delivery was sent from Amazu. It should be arriving Amazoo. in my room That any is definitely 101% Amazon reference. Uh, pardon me, but I... I must return quickly in order to receive my package. I had purchased several new parts in order to upgrade all of Ruby's specs. Kai? I had it back ordered for quite some time, but for it to be delivered when I was speaking on the subject. Oh, oh God, as coincidence. Of my little glutton, I will have to go install the parts immediately. Please have a good day. You too, ma'am. With your, uh,. That's that's cute and weird, but it's mostly cute. Just the way she just I don't know. Bigger is better. Oh great! I can't wait to see about bigger is better, especially for you know since it's her we're talking about. <laughs> oh my gosh. Getting close again, I see. It has become quite normal for me to drop in like this. Hasn't and it? sit this close. But yeah. So, 
I came by today to ask for a little of your advice on an issue Leanbox is currently facing. Oh my gosh, this is... People from other nations have always pointed out that hardware from Leanbox is too big and bulky. I do believe compact hardware is ideal, but... At the end of the day, I want to give people high-end, high-space hardware. I believe higher specs open the possibilities for gaming, and a machine like that could handle any genre. Do you not agree? However, using high-performance parts like that will always increase the size. Why does that sound effect keep and appearing? And I cannot wait around for smaller parts to be designed and created. Yes, that's it, isn't it? They do say that bigger is better, and if compatibility with old games is truly necessary, PS4. then my policies mm -hmm. are not mistaken. Ah. <sighs> wow. I feel much lighter now. She's definitely a woman. I rarely type have of an CPU. opportunity to ask someone outside my nation for advice like this. Thanks to your help, I was able to reorganize my thoughts again. What? I didn't even... Oh? It is raid time. I mean, it is time for an important meeting, so I must take my leave. Really hate being that guy, but she actually is really I have beautiful. other duties given to me, aside from being the goddess of Leanbox. Like making I have a hardware, mountain of administrative things, and such gaming. as various plans and tactical policies to decide upon. Oh. If I ever Political need stuff. advice on these matters in the future, I would appreciate your help. Well, okay. <laughs> she didn't even leave. It just ended. Hello? Okay. Let's party. Oh, boy. I can't wait to see this one. I can't wait to see her just... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Oh my gosh, the way she walks. Hello. Why? You seem like you are it's doing It's literally well. going to kill me on the inside. I came here today cute. because I wish to tell you something special. <gasps> During tea time, a brilliant idea for a new game just came to mind. Oh, pardon me. I just wanted to inquire about your opinion on it. Oh, okay. Then, <clears throat> Allow me to gather myself so I can better explain the story. Okay. Danger once again looms over game industry, threatening peace throughout the land. The story is set in Lestation, a nation ruled by the goddess Noir. Its economy prospers due to its many industries and massive amounts of trading. Okay. However, there were those who loathed this nation. Its basilicom, Lestation's pillar, was captured, and Noir was captured. The perfect coup d'etat. Sounds like Nuar's Ark, New Dern, you know, the Golden Third Ark, or, you know, Saga. It from the world. It seemed that the death of the station's freedom was imminent, but there remained a single hope. Yes, it is Uni, the station CPU candidate. Oh, <gasps> that's so, so cool. That is the game's prologue, for now. The next thing to discuss Uni. would be its game system. Oh, <gasps> yes. Using a TPS view, various stage Third elements can shooter. be destroyed. And in order to boost its visual impact, all playable characters are robots. Wait. Of course, the mechanic is Uni's dear friend, Nepgear. <gasps> Ram and Ram are a clever pair of analysts. Also, you use heavy weapons to knock enemies and whole stages down. It will be supremely exhilarating, let me assure you. Oh, yeah! The game is based on robots, but by inserting Uni's voice and cutscenes of her in between the action, the player can see how cute she is in the cockpit. Wait, so... This oh, is the she's ultimate in the of robot. Moe and Mayhem. A little well, sparkles in her. I personally would love a cutscene of Uni making an entrance by smashing the Basilicom wall as she's saying, Let's party! That about That's does cute. it for my general explanation. 
What do you think? Is this a game you would play? Oh, yes and... Yep, yes and no question. I'm trying to think about how the game would actually look like. Like, let's think about it. I don't know why. When... Until she thought said about the whole, like, oh, yeah, playable characters are in the robots. I was thinking, yo, imagine if this is, like, Shadow the Hedgehog, but with Uni. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to be that guy, but as a child, I actually did enjoy... I mean, I'm pretty sure all of us enjoyed Shadow the Hedgehog when we were children. So... It would be funny for Uni to just be running at, like, a really high speed and then just shoot a bunch of people, like, how you do in Shadow the Hedgehog, except, you know, have better aim with shooting. Or maybe this is, like, um, I don't know. I don't know why I wanted to put that two to do together, but I just thought it would be cool, but, hmm. I feel like that's a reference to another game and there's already something like that. What is it, though? I want to say Fortnite, but... In robots. Maybe it's like Fortnite, but they're in robots, and it's like, I don't know. But yes, I would enjoy playing that. That is excellent. Of course, a savvy gamer like yourself would want to play this. What does savvy mean? Hello? Hearing you say this has inspired me greatly. But then... <sighs> what? I explained my concept to Noir before, but... She wasn't fond of it? There's no way Lestation's name would ever be on such a stupid game. I won't allow it, she said. And so it was Sounds rejected. a lot like Noir. That I actually like sounds like no plans around a using copyright myself thing. myself as the game's main character. Oh, what about you, When I started to highlight the younger sisters, though, it just became this. Oh, wait. But... I am beginning to feel that it would be a waste to give up at this point. Going off your impression, I should approach Neptune and Blan about it as well. If it is popular with them, then I will work with Noir and take it in a direction she can agree with. Okay, that's it. I must revise my plan and organize my presentation so I can show her immediately. Okay. Thank you for listening to me, player. I will take my leave for the it day. It sounds like Noir rejected her idea, not just because of, you know, what, you know, she quoted, but like the, you know, we have copyrights, right? And, you know, she's not anything close to, you know, Nintendo, um, but, you know, Blonde is, but copyrights are a thing, so... I wonder if Noir also did it because of the idea of copyright. And that also came in mind. She's like, no way. It's like, you know, Nintendo when uh, they, you know. <gasps> oh, she's wearing glasses. Hello, player. Yeah, she is Excuse tall. Oh my me. gosh. This is very new to me. My world is spinning a little. We are both wearing glasses. How convenient that my sister decides to <laughs> give me these glasses. And she's also gaze wearing on me. Well, how is it then? Does it suit me? Yes, it does. Does it suit me as well, guys? Like, do you guys like me wearing glasses? Leave it in the comments below. I, I would actually like to know. I will take these off for a little while. That is so cute. She's wearing glasses when I was also <gasps> wearing glasses. How convenient. Oh. <gasps> oh, how <laughs> embarrassing of me. It's okay. That was so unbelievably disgraceful. But you're I smiling. I really wish to show you a different side to me. That's why I wore these glasses. But when borrowing from Chica, I only paid attention to the style, not realizing these were prescription. I think I would have done the I same. I have some glasses that I use as a disguise, but those don't have prescription lenses. This one I actually does. Very it's kind, it's meant to block out blue and lighting. It's usually just so I can sneak so it doesn't like poke your eyes out, you know. But it doesn't help. It doesn't Since affect I me. So them, I'm just wearing I these because I can. I show you how I look in glasses one more time. Yes, please, ma'am. We are both wearing glasses. We are the glasses game. We both don't wear glasses. We're both I gamers, really but we're wearing glasses because we can. That I put these on. It is an encouraging oh feeling. Gosh. It is <laughs> important so to look the part, adorable. isn't it? I feel I'm not really adorable, but she's solve any gimmick beautiful. or puzzle looking the way I do right now. 
The bigger problem is, however, that I cannot see in front of me very well. Ha ha! What do you I think can still see everything glasses? very well. Do you feel that it brings about a special kind of charm? Is that even a question? <laughs> it was worth the trouble of picking these out to hear you say that. Yeah. Hmm. This might be a good time to add to my personal collection of fake glasses. How convenient. If I wear prescription glasses, ones again, she I wanted might to. Trip, so. And I'm also wearing glasses because I wanted to. This is a oh, is golly right? coincidence. <laughs> that passed so quickly. I would love to stay I don't know longer. why I'm doing this a lot. Just when yes. I see people do it, for some reason I find it funny. I Except when nuns do it. When they do it, it's actually serious. But okay, oh. Oh, I have an idea. If you really liked them, I can wear glasses the next time I visit as well. Yes. Only if you would like me to do that. What do you think? Ma'am, that's not a question. Wonderful. I will find a few new pairs to wear next time. Yes, please. Ma'am. Okay, see you soon. See you later, no Wee! <laughs> okay, that is it. Wow, so I've been recording for an hour and 55 minutes. Pretty much two hours. But, wow. Oh, also we have new room objects, so, uh... Ooh, nep goods. Wait, books? Nep goods? Okay. Oh. Oh, a purple one. Okay. Purple light. So, just make it- <gasps> Iffy in combo! That's so cute! Okay, then how about this one be Iffy and... This one, shoe, we don't have, um, for now, just to make sense of it, let's do that. Oh, no, wait. Actually, how about we make this where Uni can be? And, you know, when we have, whenever we get the other uh, ones somehow, which I don't know how, then, you know, NEP setting documents. Okay. Oh, purple. Purple. Actually, no, let's keep them blue. We need ver we need variety. That's the same. Ooh, the four guys is online. Ooh, ooh they look kind of cute. Ooh, ooh. All right. So, that'll be the end of today's video, guys. And <laughs> I find it funny that apparently she happens to wear glasses when I'm also wearing glasses. And, uh, <laughs> I find that really funny, and I find that really coincidental, and I find that really adorable. What do I look like without the glasses? Wow. Something really changes when I, you know, a lot. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, give it a like, share the video, and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy watching this content. It is, and if you were actually paying attention to that clock, which I hope you were, no, it was not lying to you. It is 2.35 right now in the morning. So, yeah, I'd be really playing these games, like, really early in the morning when everyone's asleep. So, I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. Again, I'll see you guys whatever you do next. Take care. God bless you guys, and stay tuned for Neptune's arc. And, yeah. See you later.